Mamma Mia, it's me, the girl, here to bring you another YouTube video. Woohoo! What's up, guys? So it's a Sunday afternoon, and all is quiet. There's no mentions of a drop this Tuesday yet, or Thursday so far, so we're just waiting to see what's up with that. Uh... So, I just got one big piece of news for you guys, and we'll get into today's topic. So, let's do it. So, I first found out about this information from Hello K, the YouTuber Hello K. Uh, so, shout out to him. So, there's a new addition to the VV team. I'm just going to read uh, his introduction for you guys. It says, Hello VV, my name is Trevor, and I recently joined the VV team where I'm going to lead the team that makes all of the awesome NFT content. Before joining Vivi, I worked in video game production at Riot Games, where I worked on League of Legends, Runeterra, and Santa Monica Studio, uh, where I was working on the next God of War. If you are curious about what it takes to develop content for NFTs or video games, I'm happy to answer your questions. It's awesome to be joining this community now, and I can't wait to watch it grow with you all. And then he uh, drops his Twitter content. I believe his name is uh, Trevor Carr. There's him right there. And the interesting thing about this is that uh, this was on the VV official Discord under the Meet the Team section. Uh, I had went over there to check it out. And when I went back, it was gone. So I don't know if uh, VV didn't want him to post this or or what. But the information is not there anymore. So... I'm just going to post it anyway because I guess I'm something like a news reporter. I'm just going to report the news and see what happens uh, after I do it. So I typed in Trevor Carr into Google and came upon this right here just to, you know, do a little research on him. And he has a pretty cool portfolio. The one I like the most is uh, this one right here. This is Samus Aran from the Metroid series. She's the main protagonist. And this right here is what really interests me right there. That is a pretty cool um, design. And I do believe Trevor did this himself. So, yeah, you could totally see that being an NFT. And especially in game mode, if they, when they, act, when they uh, start releasing the games and stuff. So that's all Trevor right there, I believe. Yep. So right here, this says, here's my take on the original uh, leading lady from Metroid. It's been a passion project of his for a very long time, and he's learned so much working on it. He's been in love with the series as he, since he was a kid, and he's excited to see what they do with Metroid Prime 4. Uh, this is two years ago, but still, his skills are still relevant today, so we're going to see what he uh, brings to the table. It should be a very interesting um, uh, partnership right here. This is another one of his designs. So I think he's going to bring some much-needed... Um, flair to the uh to the nfts on uh vivi not that they've been bad but you know help I mean, it doesn't matter it doesn't help it doesn't hurt sorry guys to uh get improvements so let's get into the main uh topic of today okay guys so i want to show you guys the ar function when it comes to a single nft so i'm going to click on my uh ultraman here I'm gonna wait for it to load up. Takes a little minute. Actually, not that long, a few seconds. But as we wait, so it, so it appears here now. And you're gonna wanna click on this AR button down here. So let's do that. And then we're gonna scan. And then we're gonna place it. And there you go. You can scale it down by pinching it. And I'm just walking around it right now. And it's pretty cool. The quality is not too bad. You can see the shadow there. And like I said, you can size it up however big you want. Now tell me that's not the future. Tell me that's not cool. Or you can make it as small as you want. Let's bring it back down to scale. And it looks like the quality got even better the, the smaller I made it. So yeah, that's how you um, put it in AR. 
Super cool. Okay, so now I want to give you guys a, a, um, a tutorial on the show on the vaults or the showrooms. So you go to collection right there. And if you want to create a new showroom, you can create as many as you want. So you go up here to the add button right here. And you can title your showroom, which I would suggest that you do. So you're not guessing which showroom is which when you um, make one. But for this tutorial, I'm going to go to my completion uh, vault. It takes a little while to render everything and get the vaults up to date so you might have to wait a little bit but here we go so you're gonna have two toggles you're gonna have your left toggle and your right toggle your 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 right toggle is how you how you look how you view so you, you go up down and around to view and your left toggle is how you move it's pretty intuitive um, it shouldn't be hard to get after after you play with it for a while so there's my completed set of DeLoreans, and then there's my Mermicornos set right there. So if you want to add an NFT to uh, mess with, you click on that plus arrow right there, and then you pick something. So we'll uh, pick this Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man, and then we click him. So then he appears. So if you want to, um, if you want to adjust him, you're gonna click on him. Oh no, it's not working here. Let's see. There you go. So you click on him and he's highlighted. So the first top mu top function will be to move him. So you have a a Y axis, a Z axis, and a X axis points. So whatever arrow you want to move him, you just drag that arrow. So I want to move him to the side, so I'm dragging that one. I want to move him forward or back. I'm dragging, so you can kind of see what I'm doing right there up and down for the green arrow you can also rotate them so it's pretty intuitive you just touch whatever um, button whatever um, highlighted function you want to scale them you use the pinch you pinch your fingers so you can make them as big as you want or as, as small as you want so yeah that's pretty much the basics right there I'll show you guys a little secret you guys can also go outside your vault <laughs> and um, move around outside your vault. Let's see here. Let's get on out of here. So now, you, now you're on the outside looking in and you can place some figures um, outside as well. So let's place a pepperino out here. So now you got your pepperino. I'm gonna size them up, scale them up. I'm gonna rotate them. I'm gonna move them a little bit back away from it now I'm gonna click off of him sometimes when you click off the blue highlighted is still on him so you just want to make sure that's off and let's see here let's just take a picture of him so if you want to take a picture of him you're gonna uh, click on this camera button right here so let's uh, see if we can get a nice little picture bam so I took a picture of him and now you can transform it, you can uh, crop it down, you can set a filter. Let's see, I don't like that one. Uh, Alright, we'll just keep that one just for the sake of it. And then uh, we can, you know, you can play with the functions. I'm sure they'll add more functions in the future, but as for now, this is all we have. So, yeah, and then you, if you like your final product, you save it. It'll have the little VV um, um, logo in the bottom. Now you can save it right here, or you can add it to your feed, which I'll do. I'll just say um, Pepperino in the mountains. And then you share it to your feed so other people can see it. And that is pretty much the full tutorial on your um, vault for now. In the future, we're going to have a whole bunch of accessories that we can buy and probably some free accessories. But for now, the vault is kind of basic in terms of it's still early. So that's all we have to work with for now. So I'm going to show you guys one more function that I don't think many people know about. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're in my main vault here. 
and I don't think a lot of people know about dysfunction because I didn't either until my guy VV Moonboy put me on. So what you want to, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to hit this AR button right here. So let's go ahead and tap that, and it's gonna bring you to the scanning point. So you're just gonna want to tap right there. So now you see the vault in AR. So you tap the vault door as it slowly opens. And now, instead of using the toggles, I'm, I'm, I'm able to actually walk inside my vault in real life. And I can walk right up to the pieces as if it's an actual showroom. Now, I think this is really cool because I think in the future, we're going to be able to use like AR glasses or something like that. So I'm, I'm literally walking around. So I'm, I'm, tech, I'm in my showroom virtually. So let me walk outside. And as you can see, the real world starts to appear. Here's Ultraman and my, and my unicornos. Here's Batman out here. So I think this is just the future. This is this, this is just the beginning. Because the app is still in beta. And if we can do all of this, a lot of app is in beta. Just imagine what we could do once we get AR glasses and uh, Oculus type technology on board. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. So I'm, let me walk around the walls real quick. So I'm, I'm in an open field, so I have space to do, do this. It's a little harder to do it inside your house or whatever, unless you have a mansion. Here's one of my prized, prized uh, Todd McFarlane Batmans. Never gonna give it up. I'm walking over the, over the uh, DeLorean here. Here's one of my Ultraman Sevens. So yeah, I'm just doing a tour around my uh, vault in the field. People think I'm uh, recording their houses. They have no idea what I'm doing out here. But do I care? No, I don't. All right, so yeah, that is the uh, vault function for the AR capabilities. If you don't know, now you know. All right. So with that, I do believe that concludes my video for today. Uh, tomorrow will be my one month anniversary with, or I call it a vv -versary. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. I think I've come a long way here since uh, four, four long weeks ago. I think VV time was quicker than anything right now. Uh, yeah, if you, if, you, if, you, if you procrastinate on this thing, you're going to miss out. So just, you know, inform yourself. And if you're thinking about taking action, learn what you got to learn so that you can take advantage of being an early adopter which you are if you're on this app right now because it's still in beta and nobody really knows about it yet it might seem like a lot of people know about it within the crypto world but we're like a niche niche little group here it's when the mainstream gets a hold of it that's when you know it's too late so for now you're still early so take advantage if you have the means to so uh thanks for sticking with me till the end here uh and as you know i'm not a financial advisor I'm just a guy with a lot of opinions, and I'm very bullish on the VV ecosystem, the VV-verse. Peace out until next time, guys. Holler.